Hi. There you are. I'm late? Sauce. Uh, traffic? You drove here? No. Okay. What did you want to discuss? I have a request for you. And a confession. Knew it. You're going to confess your love. Been waiting for this moment. Wait, n no, that's not. Sh 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 no more words. I accept your heart. Kojiro, I don't. Call me Koji now. We're one. No need to be shy. Ugh. I'm Corpse Girl. Yes? Okay. So, a kiss to commemorate our love? Did you even hear what I just said? Of course. I'm Corpse Girl! I'm the one behind the corpse photos, and the deaths, and... Yes, I know. <sighs> Knew it since our first noise chat. Our first noise chat? Remember? You messaged me late at night. Asked me if I knew about Corpse Girl. Is that what tipped you off? You assumed I was her just because I mentioned her? No. Then... how? How did you figure it out? You asked me to look up names. Names of Corpse Girl's victims. Oh yeah. I did, huh? That was stupid of me. I suppose that gave it away. No. Other people could have known those names. Then... Come on. Throw me a bone here. How'd you find out? You said you requested A. Jihanada's death. I don't understand. I confessed to requesting Eiji Hanada's death. So what? That was a lie. Even so, I still don't understand. You're not making any sense. You lied about requesting Eiji Hanada's death. That lie proved to me that you were a corpse girl. Yes, but how? Tell me! I was the one who requested A. Jihanada's death. I submitted his photo to Corpse Girl's website. 
Imagine my surprise when you claim that you did it. That lie made it clear. You knew his name. You knew he died. You knew he was Corpse Girl's victim. Ergo, you are Corpse Girl. So, you've known this whole time? Yes. And yet, you still met up with me. And not just today, but at the cafe, too. Yes. Aren't you... scared of me? <laughs> no, that's not the way I'd put it. You should be scared of me. After all, I requested the death. Had motive for murder. Even if I didn't carry it out personally. Imagine what else I'm capable of. From our discussions, I know you don't kill your victims. You just nudge them, urge them, tempt them with death as an escape from their fear. You're no murderer. What reason have I to fear you? Join me. Mm -hmm. Help me... Help Corpse Girl rid this fucking world of the fetid filth that invests it. of finality. Nobel Sinclair. You understand what I'm talking about. You work with cadavers for a living. The dead can't hurt you. They can't betray you. They can't disobey, or object, or disapprove. Wouldn't it be better if we were all beautiful like that? Perhaps. Didn't expect Corpse Girl to be so vain. Is your motivation simply to impart your own ideas of beauty to the world? No. There's more to it. Of course. I, me, myself, Noriko, may be vain. But Corpse Girl isn't burdened by such petty notions. Her ambition is pure. Her ambition is crucial to the survival of the entire human race. <laughs> Thought I had a big ego. You're so self-important. Both you and Corpse Girl. <laughs> I don't expect you to understand. Not yet. But... I've realized that I can't do everything alone. I need your help. I need... Cadavers. I see. What's in it for me? I propose an equal partnership. You'll reap half of the benefits from Corpse Girl's work.
<laughs> corpse girl will create more death than you could ever imagine. Think of all the fresh corpses you could get your eager little hands on. Sorry, already got my fill of corpses. Wargs full enough as it is. Hmm. You've always wanted to mimic Nobel Sinclair. I can see it in your face, in your very soul, whenever you praise his work. You want to emulate his actions and experience his escapades firsthand. You want to dress up corpses, take them out to dinner, perform all manner of bizarre social experiments with the dead. It's your passion. But living vicariously through Nobel Sinclair's books isn't enough for you anymore. And that's where your fascination with me, with Corpse Girl, stems from. As soon as you figured me out, you knew I was your gateway to satisfying your lust for the macabre. You work with cadavers all day every day, but you can't get them out of the morgue with eyes on you at all times. But I can. I have the perfect plan on how to withdraw all the corpses we could ever need. Half of them for you. And half of them for me. An equal partnership. Figured me out? I'll play along. Say there's a way to get corpses out of the morgue, without getting busted. Don't you think I'd have found it by now? Hmm, perhaps you're not as clever as you think you are. <laughs> perhaps. But you have the answer? I do. I guarantee it will work. Something about you makes you seem trustworthy. So be it. Consider us partners. For now. Uh, you accept? Sure. Don't make me regret it. But, listen. What I do with my share of corpses is my business. No nosing about. Got it? You still want to keep secrets, even if we'll be working together? Shouldn't we be open and honest and build a trusting partnership? Here's the deal. You don't pry, and I'll assist you with Corpse Girl's work. I'll help you craft your elaborate photos. No charge. I get privacy, you get an assistant. Mutually beneficial, wouldn't you agree? Okay, we have a deal. 
Glad to hear it. Saw us about the love confession stuff before. Too late now, but I'd have helped Corpse grow in return for a simple date. <laughs> no backing out now. We've got a deal, right? Right. Welcome to the team, Kojiro. Team Corpse Girl, huh? Well, it's good to be on board. My more connection, your schemes. We hoist piles of corpses out and split the stack 50-50. That the whole of it? <laughs> to put it simply, yeah. And I get your assistance with Corpse Girl's work. A reward for keeping my eyes shut. Of course. Looking forward to that. The spoken contract's as good as anything to me. I'm satisfied. When do we start? Soon. There's only one thing missing from my plan. That is? We need somewhere to store the bodies we retrieve. Somewhere big, with no one to meddle in our business. Thinking an old warehouse or something like that? Hmm. A warehouse, huh? What about an abandoned factory? I might know a place. A factory?
I need to talk to you. What's with that look? Got something up your ass? Come on, just follow me. God, your fingers are bony. You're pinching me. Sorry. Anyway, what's up? Corpse Girl is going to target Kotomi Ida. Huh? Did she get one of them photos? Well, no, I don't think so, but... How do you know, then? <sighs> That's hard to explain. Just bear with me. Kotomi and Shinya had a falling out. Because of her, his career here is at an end. I'm sure he told you about it. Yep. So, if you can kind of guess what I'm getting at? What? I think, maybe, that Shinya requested her death. <laughs> Shinya? Nah, he don't have it in him. Besides, that bitch has it coming. She does? Yep. I'm surprised you found out about it, but... I plugged her photo into Corpse Girl's website yesterday. Absolute skank. She deserves to die. But... why? After you requested Akane Tsurumaki's death, why would you... Look, it's not about Shinya's career, alright? I spoke with him, real deep and meaningful like. He confided in me, but since we're friends, I suppose I can share it with you. Kotomi Ida has been sexually assaulting him. Seriously? It's been going on for months, he says. And now she's fucked his career up so he'll have no choice but to leave the company. He leaves, and she gets off free without anyone finding out about what she's been doing to him. I hate her. I hate her so fucking much. We should tell someone what she's been doing. She can't get away with that. She ain't gonna get away with it. Corpse Girl's coming for her, remember? <laughs> I can't wait to hear the news about Kotomi winding up dead somewhere. I hope she gets her throat slit. <laughs> yeah. But hey, how'd you find out about it?
figured it out. Kotomi must have received the photo and told you about it, huh? Wow, that corpse girl sure works fast. Wait a minute. Why would she even show you something like that? When I think about it, there was that time you got a photo but nothing happened to you. Then, the only way you could have really known about Kotomi is... You're a corpse girl, aren't you? You have to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. God, are you for real? I can't believe it. You took your sweet time figuring it out. Don't give me that bullshit. You can't expect me to figure out something like that if you're gonna try so hard to hide it. What the fuck, girl? You get your rocks off by killing people? No, not exactly. I don't kill people. The hell you don't! Explain that bitch to Umaki! She killed herself. Yeah, she killed herself. That's the cover-up, right? I'm serious. She killed herself. But... Corpse Girl encouraged her to do it. You're telling the truth. Holy shit. I can't believe this. You're really Corpse Girl? Corpse girl. <laughs> wow, fuck me, right? All this time I've been thinking you're just some goth skank with weird hobbies. But you're actually pretty fucking cool. You're actually doing something with your life. Huh? I... I thought you'd be angry with me. Angry? Why would I be angry? God, this is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. I'm <laughs> friends with fucking Corpse Girl. And people said I'd never amount to nothing. Though it took me long enough to figure it out. I ain't the sharpest light bulb in the shed. I can't argue with that. So, like, I gotta know, how many people have you killed? I said I don't kill people, remember? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. How many have offed themselves because of you? It's an embarrassingly small number. That's so? Oh, that's a shame. Listen, you gotta fill me in on all the juicy deets later, okay? For now? Please focus on getting rid of that bitch Kotomi. I'll do my best. Thanks, slut. Shinya and I will owe you one for sure. This convo never happened. Got it? <laughs> That's my line. You can't tell anyone about me and Corpse Girl. Please, who would I tell? Well, the police, for starters. <laughs> Fuck them. I ain't a squealer. I'm on your side, corpse girl. Relax. 
Anyway, peace. Oh my god.
I've been waiting for this. I've waited so long for someone to reply. your bluff, you piece of shit. Now you'll do what I tell you to.
It worked. <laughs> My plan worked. Just one more thing to do. 